Hey guys, welcome back to Pygame Basics. So in this video, we'll talk about how to display an image on the screen. And right now we're gonna start with the same layout that we did in the create a display video. So if I run this, I've got a display and it's taking events, so I can press the X button. And so to create an image, we first have to load the image into our script. So we can do that with, and I guess I'll do it down here. I'll save the image in, in a variable called image and we say pygame.image.load and it expects the file path to the image. Now looking at my file directory, uh, I have this image called ear of corn in the same directory as this script.py, which is the script that I'm running currently. And if it's in the same directory, pygame does understand relative addresses for directories, which means I can just say ear of corn dot, what's the, uh, uh, it is a JPEG dot JPG. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. If it was in a different directory, you could use relative addresses or you could just do the full uh, absolute directory. Uh, so I can say in a string, ear of corn dot jpg. So now I've loaded the image in and we need now to, uh, we can blit the image. It's called blitting the image onto the display. So anytime we wanna draw anything on the display, we first have to say display dot fill. So let's fill in our background. And I'm gonna fill it in as white, I guess. So we can put in a tuple that is 255, 255, 255. And I'm gonna run this real quick. And we have a white background. We need to blit our image. So I can say this, sorry, image, sorry, display. I was right the first time, dot blit. And this takes two arguments. The first is the image object, which we saved as image. And then the second is the position. And our screen right now is a thousand pixels wide and X, 600 and Y. So I'm gonna say, let's do 200, 200. Sorry, this needs to be in one tuple, 200, 200. If I go ahead and run this, now I have this image that I presume was at 200, 200. Remember, uh, Pi game starts at the top left. Let's try a different position. So I guess let's try zero, zero. So this should be in the top left, which is sure enough it is. Now. The size of this image is going to be based off the original image that you got, whether it's off the internet or wherever it might be. You might want to change the size of the image. And right now I'm going to try to change the size of the image to be the entire screen. So to change the size of the image, right after creating the image object, we want to change the image object. So we can say pygame.transform.scale. And uh, what we need here is the original image and we need the new scale. So I'm gonna say 1,600 in pixels. And this does not change it in place. So we need to say image equals that. So what this is doing is it's creating a new image with this scale, and we're just gonna rewrite over the image variable here. So I'm gonna run this and see what happens. And now we've expanded this to the entire screen. Now there are other transformations that we can do. So if I can go ahead and get on Google here, and we're gonna to go to the Pygame documentation, or transform. We can see all the other transformations we can do to what's called a Pygame surface, which is what we create when we load in the image. So we can flip this vertically or horizontally, we can resize, which we've done, rotate, and et cetera, et cetera. So one other thing I want to point out is let's change the background right here. So I'm going to change the background to, let's just keep it as red. So RGB, so the rest of these need to become zero. So if I go ahead and run this now, we can't really see the background because this image is taking up the entire background. So I'm gonna change the scale of it to let's say 150, just because I wanna show you guys the background. 150. Okay, so you see what happened here is we have this red background, but the image itself is a box. It's always going to be. And what we want though, is we may not want this to have like an actual box here. We may want to crop out the background of our image. So this does go into a little bit of image analysis and, and image editing, and I'm definitely not an expert in this, but a lot of you guys out there are also not uh, very familiar with image editing. So I want to give you guys a very quick and easy way of editing out the background. So what we can do is get back on the internet and this website right here, and I have no affiliation with this website. I just think it's really cool. It's called PIXLR pixel, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's really good. It's completely free. And it does the job that we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, load up this image right here. So I put it under, here we go. 
load up the image and we have some cutout options here. So we're going to remove with a magic cutout the background. So let's say I'm happy with this. And there's some other options here to remove and you can get real specific with it, zoom in, zoom out, etc. cetera. Uh, but anyway, I'm not gonna get too specific just cause I'm trying to show you. Uh, another thing we should probably do is crop out the sides here. And essentially what this is doing, uh, cropping out the sides is resizing the image to be smaller. But what I did with the magic cutout is all the pixels that are not within that background, I want them to have a transparency of all the way. So transparency is in a 8-bit in a, uh, number in Pygame, so it's 0 to 255. But essentially I'm saying I want all the pixels here to have a transparency of 0, so we can't see them. And all of these just keep their previous transparency. And the only way to keep this is when we save this, is to save it as a PNG file. The reason we need to save it as a PNG file and not, let's say, a JPEG is because JPEGs have one transparency value for the entire image. So we can make the entire image not transparent, but we can't choose which pixels uh, need to be transparent. So in a PNG, each pixel has its own RGB, of course, and also transparency. Here's the image width and height. If you're gonna mess with this, and sometimes I do recommend messing with it to make sure the file size is not too big. But if you're gonna mess with this, recognize that you may overstretch the image, the original image, wherever you got that from. So we have PNG file name. I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the proper uh, directory. Again, you can choose which directory you wanna go into, but if we just keep it the same as our script, it just makes life easier. So this is our JPEG, and this is gonna be our PNG. So to bring this in, I'm gonna say, instead of J JPEG, I'm gonna say PNG. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this. And now we see that the background does not exist. So if we wanted to use this image as a background we, to our game, we can actually do so. So I can now resize this back to 1000 and then 600. Sorry, that was zero. <laughs> 600. And we've properly resized this and we can have things go on here and here and even on the background itself. The last thing I will tell you is how to save some data in on your uh, image. So anytime you're loading in an image, there is an op two options that you can do. You can do a uh, method called convert and a method called convert alpha. So this convert and then there's a convert underscore alpha. Uh, to be honest, I don't remember the exact details of what this is doing, but essentially for our purposes, behind the scenes, Pygame does something interesting to save on data and it'll make the image load faster and if you have multiple images it'll be useful uh, use convert when you're using jpegs or anything that you don't need a transparency for so for instance if i needed uh, a specific transparency for each pixel for so if i just use convert then you get this uh background the png background which uh when we convert it is going to just be straight black and we don't want black we want our background right now which is red um so you can use this this does save even more data but uh you can use this when you are using something that you don't care if the background um, exists, like on your image. But convert alpha is uh, is your option for still saving some data. And I'm, again, I'm not completely sure the mathematics behind the scenes, but your um, your best bet with whenever you're loading in images in Pygame is to use these methods, and you can still keep the background here.